People tend to focus more on the crimes of incarcerated folks while knowing little about their lives in prisons. Yet, according to prison abolitionists, incarcerated people often encounter struggles, including limited access to books, restricted rights, and serious identity marginalization. To support prison abolition, more than 30 Northwestern students gathered at NU Student Prisoner Correspondent Night, where they wrote letters to political prisoners from a list compiled by the New York City anarchist Black Cross. Mado reporter Kaxon Wang was there. Living in Color, a Northwestern organization that promotes inclusivity, liberation, and creativity among people in color. Hosted its fourth Student Prisoner Correspondence Night on February 4th at Multicultural Student Affairs Office. During this event, Northwestern Junior Carmen Owen Ongya wrote letters to Kojo Sababu, a person in prison, for the first time.、Um, what attracted me to him was I saw that his name was Kojo, and one of my brothers is also a Kojo. Event organizer Eliza Gongring. A Northwestern junior said she wants to build a network of people that are committed to maintaining contact with incarcerated folks, and not just contact where we're talking to them and at them, but like reciprocal exchanges. The highlight of this event was a phone call with a special guest who was addressed as Stevie. Oh, hello, everyone. Hi. 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 Stevie is a queer person who's currently incarcerated. He also runs、uh, prison industrial complex study groups from the inside. During the phone call. Stevie raised three questions to the audience: How do you define community? How do you define solidarity? And when does a person stop being human to you? And then for me, for the last question, like I don't think I can dehumanize someone. Like at the end of the day, I, even if I don't respect your beliefs, even if I disagree with you wholly, even if I like, even if I think you should be dead, they're, they're still human to me. And such embrace of diversity is indeed the value that Living in Color tries to promote. This is Kexin Wang from Adele.